hi there. <laughs> Clyde, Pixel Pro Displays. Hey, um, do you want to put icicles up on your house? And do you want a roof outline? Well, there's two ways that you can attack this with one model in X Lights, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Stay tuned. Hi folks, Clyde Lindsay here. Welcome back to the PPD YouTube channel. Hope you folks are enjoying the content we put out. Make sure you hit the uh, like uh, down below if you like the videos. Hit the bell for notifications. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, today, folks, this is the icicle model, and I'm going to walk you through a couple little things on doing a submodel to make just a roof outline for your house. So uh, many of us, when we start into the world of pixels, the first thing that we want to do is we want to outline our entire house. And so we do that. We put we put our little roof outlines out, and we make our little dormers, and we put our verticals up. And then that's year number one, and we're so excited. We're like, okay, next year I want to do icicles. Okay, well, what about all the pixels that you already have up there? Do you need those up there? Well, you can keep those up there by all means, or you can add in your icicle model and use both models and sequence two different props. Ah, but what if you're getting started and you don't have roof outlines, you don't have any of this up here whatsoever, all gone, and you just want to use your pixel icicles and make the first row of your pixels, all of those, your roof gutter outline. You can do that. So this is what we'll do. Uh, I just created a standard icicle model here in X Lights. Um, I have two videos up above, one on how to use the icicle model, which we're not going to cover all the details in this. Um, but we also have another video up above that will tell you about the alternate wiring diagram and the drop pattern in X Lights. So you can follow that as well if you're going to purchase um, like Coro Prop that you're going to push pixels into that you need specific wiring arrangements for. So use those videos up there. We're going to get started on creating what I call a submodel for your gutter lines and. To do that, we're just going to select our model. Now, I've already created one. Nothing fancy here. It's one string, 112 pixels, 7 pixels in the drop pattern, and we just drug it out. No big deal. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to click on submodels down here, and we're going to add a new submodel. We're going to call this gutters, and then hit the tab button, and then now we're going to select it, and we're going to double-click on this uh, bottom here. And this is going to open up our submodel sub -model page. I'm going to subtract this out here a little bit. So we've got another video on submodels. You can learn more by looking at that video up here. Uh, but I'm not going to go through all the details in creating a submodel. Just know that I'm using ordered selection, and I'm considering going from left to right on my layout, left to right on my layout, in the exact order on the model. Um, and I'm double clicking in ordered selection these pixels at the very top. And we'll go ahead and click OK. There we are. It looks like X Lights is showing us that the very top row, the very top row here of our submodel of icicles is in fact part of the icicle model now. So we click OK. That saves the change. Don't click cancel there, that will erase it. And now, when we click down here on this little arrow, we see that we can uh, clearly see that there are uh, the highlighted. Let, let's 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 show you string appearance here. Let's make those pixels a little bit bigger. I'll change them to six. See how they're nice and bold now. Um, now, if we click on those, you can clearly see the top line there is highlighted yellow. That means that we can sequence just on the submodel gutters level. And if you let, put that into your layout, you'll be able to sequence only your roof outline just where those icicles are located. So that's going to wrap it up, guys. I know this is a short video, but that's what it was meant for. It was just to show you how you can use submodels and create your gutter outlines in just like that. If you need additional help, ask the questions down below in the comments of the video or join us in our Pixel Pro University Facebook group found in the uh, links down below in the description of the video. 
you can join us there, ask questions there as well. We have a huge community, which you should totally join. And also, if you appreciate the content we produce here on PPD YouTube channel, consider joining the PPD Sequence Club. We offer one awesome sequence each month, plus tons of discounts for you in the hobby that are going to be buying pixels or props or controller builds or you name it. That's going to wrap it up, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.